Okay, hi everybody. Today we're gonna to be doing an experiment on exothermic reactions by lighting this dollar bill on fire. So before we even start, just make sure if you ever do this experiment, there's adult supervision around if you're a child and even if you're doing it, just make sure there's someone with you to do it because you can't really do this experiment on your own. Um, you're gonna need someone to help you light the dollar bill on fire. So um, this lesson basically deals with chemical reactions and energy. And when most people think of energy, they think of batteries being powered by energy, but energy can also be transferred as light, as heat, as sound waves. And the most common example is a car being powered by energy. And it's powered by energy through the gasoline that's in it and the gasoline takes the energy and transfers the heat outwards. That's why the engine, if you ever feel it, is very, very hot, but I doubt you want to feel the engine. Um, okay, so what we're going to be doing is showing how this dollar bill transfers heat outwards, and when we light it on fire, it won't b cause the dollar bill to burn. It will just, the heat one and the flames will go outwards. So what you need is 50 milliliters of water, which I'm going to pour into a tinfoil pan, 50 milliliters of rubbing alcohol, and a pinch of salt. And then you take the dollar bill and you soak it in the mixture before you set it on fire. You see I'm getting it really wet. And then You drip, you drip off the excess water and alcohol, and you move the alcohol mixture far away so that you, it doesn't cause a fire, because that can cause a fire. And you hold it with the tongs, and first we're going to do the experiment with the lights off to show what happens when it's lit on fire, and then we'll show it with the lights on. So here we go. If you notice, what happened is the dollar bill didn't burn and the heat transferred out. And so it caused the dollar bill not to burn. And now we're going to try it with the lights on just in case you couldn't really see it with the lights off. And we're going to dip it again in the solution. Drip it off. And let's do it again. Okay, so now you can see that the dollar bill is still intact because the energy created from the heat went outwards instead of inwards because if it went inwards, the dollar bill would have burned. And because it went outwards, the dollar bill stayed intact. Okay, I hope everybody enjoyed the experiment. Thank you for your time. Bye.